CJM 91.5 FM. You're listening to Queer Radio here every single Monday night from seven. Uh, from sorry, at eight to nine p.m. I'm kind of flashbacks of girlies or groovy days. Anyways, there's a brand new short film. It's gonna make its debut March 22nd in Toronto as part of the Queer to Fly Film Fest. Is that the right name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, it's gonna star gay Canadian secret agent Gary Blaze. I'm loving the name. It's called The Devil Wears Product. And it's directed by Michael Poirier, starring Christopher Menard as Blaze. Who else? Here to talk about the film, we've got a whole whack of people. I'll start with you. Just state your name and how you're involved with this project. Uh, my name is Michael Poirier. I'm the director, co-writer, and co-star, I guess, of the film. Nice. He's the villain. <laughs> um, I'm Christopher Menard. I play Blaze and co-wrote the script. Awesome. I'm Christina Ayana. I'm an assistant director. I help with the script, and I scream and almost get attacked in the beginning of the movie. Lovely. <laughs> um, Sasha Appler. Uh, I play one of uh, basically the goofy sidekick, and uh, I also uh, co-writer, uh, and uh, that's about it. Yeah. What is this? The basic plot of this film? Uh, well, it's obviously based on the James Bond formula, so uh, I don't know if we can give away the plot, but I mean... He well, we can say, like, could, yeah. super villain, super evil plot um, involving gays and straights. Um, and, you know, gay super secret agent who's got to try to foil things, meets a sidekick along the path, um, sexy Bond girl as well. Yes. Nice. Yeah, you can imagine how that works out. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that sort of vibe. Awesome. Now, what, what stage of production is this in right now? Is it finished? Are you still working on it? It's in pre-production right now. Okay. We, um, we're going to start shooting on Saturday. Or, well, Sunday or Saturday, and Sunday. then we'll shoot for about a week. Okay. Yeah, and the last day of shooting will be in Niagara Falls, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, the really exciting thing about it, we're actually um, we're filming here in Windsor. We film, uh, we take it on the road to Niagara and film right in front of the falls towards uh, towards the end of the film. Sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. some great locations. We're going to be at the Hilton. Um, it sounds be, very dramatic. Yeah. It's all very, yeah, absolutely. I mean, big sets, big plots, big fun. Sweet. Now, now how, did, how was this whole project, like, how did the perception of this come about? Who, who wanted to make a gay secret agent? Whose idea is that? <laughs> well, what happened was, uh, I've dreamed about this project myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened was, I actually found out about this film fest online. Um, and then it said directors needed, so I applied, and uh, the guy saw my demo reel. Hopefully, that's what impressed him. Then he gave me a call, and then we just went from there. And Mike contacted me. We had just done a lot of work on uh, Texas Road together, right, yeah. yeah, Dylan Pierce's film. Um, and you know, he said, "How would you feel about maybe playing a gay secret agent?" Um, I said, "Well, I don't know if I can play secret agent, but." You know, I've got the other part of the equation down. Um, so sure, why not? And. Yeah, I just thought it was fantastic. Well, now you you also you were recently in the graduate. Yeah, and I bumped into a, somebody, and she said, "Oh, I can't wait to go." She goes, "I'm mostly really curious to see Chris playing a straight boy." For me as an actor, it's fun to be working on these projects pretty much at the same time. You know, we're prepping the remount of the graduate, where you're playing the ultimate straight boy character, right. and then I'm having a lot of fun with Gary Blaze. So, so this queer, this queer, what's, I'm sorry, what is it called? The queer. Queer to fly. Queer to Fly Film Fest takes place in March. Mm -hmm. um, March 22nd and 23rd. Is it, is it all short films? Yeah. And were they totally cool with the plot? Did they have any kind of say in what the content has to be? What's appropriate, what's not? Is any... They were actually um, really surprisingly happy when they found out it would be longer than your standard short. I mean, we're looking at about 30 minutes. Oh, okay, I was going to ask that. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is, you know, out of the norm, right? Yeah. Um, it's longer than any of the other films in the fest, so we'll have the longest nice. film. Yeah. yeah, he sort of laid out for us what not to do, and really his not to do's were just not to be afraid of the subject matter, not to be afraid to be as bold and, you know, outrageous and daring as we wanted to be with it. I know, are there going to be like crazy stunts or anything in this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, maybe other than like slipping on a banana. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a car chase scene. We do have yeah, a car chase scene, yeah. and it's in a, it's in a car that's a stick shift, and I'm supposed to drive it, and I've never actually driven the stick. <laughs> yeah, Pontiac so, Fiero. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so gay, too. I know. I want to go. That's why. Don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Camaro. That's actually what I said to him. I was like, he drives a big Camaro. Everyone makes Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it's it? It's a cool car. Oh, but it's a total cool it's, car. It's a running joke with my friends that I think the car's the coolest thing ever, but meanwhile, it's really 
piece of crap. I kind of think as far as like a gay icon, personally. I, I totally agree with that. That was my first love, was the Fiero. I was like, screw Ferraris, I want a Fiero. Well, when we did Texas Road, uh, Sasha pulled up one day in the Fiero, and I said to Dylan, I'm like, can we please use that car in the film? No. Well, now we are. Uh, sweet. So, yeah. And you're popping up everywhere, too. You're also in Texas Road. And Mike, you did some work on Texas Road as well, right? Yeah, yes. We all worked yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's how we, I, we met. Oh, cool. Yeah. And how was that? Was that fun? And I don't know if we can talk about it much, but was it It was a good time? Yeah. Very One good of the time. best experiences. Yeah, had. yeah it was yeah. great. And now, is, is everything with Gary Blaze, the amazing gay secret agent, is everything set in stone? Are you guys still looking mm -hmm. for any help with it or anything? Or what? Or, uh, There's a what? Everything's food. on the ground, but we can there's... use food. Yeah, we absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're definitely looking days. for catering people who want to help out. With catering. Yeah. It's oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Please, please contact us on the Facebook. Yeah, definitely. And just just so everyone knows, on the Facebook, it was the Devil Wears Pride is the actual name of the Facebook site. So when you're doing yeah. your Facebook search, you can link to it off of my site, off the Queer Radio site. It's posted all over the place, but it's called the Devil Wears Product. And what's so interesting is we put it up today, literally, and um, my Facebook page has about five different comment, you know, comments left right. on my wall. What is this poster? What is this? project what's going on mm -hmm. people saying this looks fantastic you haven't said anything about it because I really haven't I mean yeah, we've been, yeah, like, we've been very secret I feel like we've been like... locked in a in a house for like well, a we week have. together every night <laughs> just, only been a few yeah, hours but, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah um, so yeah I mean it's not that we're not talking about it in fact it's that we're just busy working on it yeah. and now it's time to sort of up the ante, get the you know get the word out there. Sweet. Well, it sounds it sounds like a really fun, awesome project. I cannot wait to see the final uh, the final thing. And again, it debuts March twenty second. March twenty second and twenty third at Innis Town Hall in Toronto, which is this great um, hall that does like a bazillion film festivals all the time. I hate the word bazillion. Um, <laughs> film festivals all the time. <laughs> Bazillions of them. Copious. Um, copious. Copious amounts. <laughs> so yeah, we get to be there. You can look at Innis Town Hall online, and you can see the cool space where it'll actually be. Shown. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Iron Boys DVDs, where it's like, the DVD has like five or six shorts, they're all gay themed. Oh, and I do, I do. Yeah, they're brilliant. And it's, Malik is the guy who, who sort of does those. Um, so he said, you know, there's that opportunity as well. Like, it's just, there's potential that at some point this ends up on, on one of those DVD series, which is cool. kind of, yeah. So would you guys say that Windsor film scene is kind of booming right now, or what? Absolutely. It's definitely, it's, it's snowballing. Yeah. The and momentum is here. And I feel um, all of us actually, and everyone, all the films we've worked on so far, we were at the start of the ball, so it's really, it's a good feeling to be at the mm -hmm. beginning of something. Oh, and totally it's also good. really nice when you're calling people to talk about upcoming projects, it's great when the first thing that they ask yeah. you is, were you involved with such and such? I made three phone calls today and that was the first question asked. And it's yeah. Like, yeah, actually I, I was, so. You know, there's sort of a, a reputation building that's yeah, strong. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, it's cool that you guys are all part of it. It's really great. It's great to have you on the show, too, to talk about this. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Yeah. Thank oh, you. no, it's been awesome. So uh, check them out on Facebook, The Devil Wears Product. And it's uh, The Adventures of Secret Agent, Gay Secret Agent, Gary Blaze. Gary Blaze. He's gay as blazes. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, I've got to take off. Up next, do not miss Farrah and Matt. Until then, you listen to Queer... I almost said queer spoke. Queer radio on CJ 91.5 FM. I picked up this next song. It's not really gay, but it kind of it's kind of very very fitting for your film. And uh, again, thanks for coming. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, tune in next week. 8 p.m. 91.5 FM. Queer radio.